Thermal injuries result from heat damage to ocular tissues. The etiology and mechanism of action of the thermal injury can provide important information that will help to determine the extent of the tissue damage. Thermal injuries may result from contact with hot objects, such as a curling iron, hot liquids, and fire. It is vital to remember that ocular injuries from fires may occur in association with burns in other regions of the body. This type of injury is frequently unilateral. Studies have determined that long-term sequelae were rare and seen in only 3% of patients with corneal burns. Although uncommon, thermal injuries in children should always be evaluated with the possibility that they were the result of child abuse, especially in the setting of multiple past injuries. Common injuries in the home, such as with curling irons, are usually mild with resolution of signs and symptoms within one to two week after onset with proper wound care, topical antibiotics, cycloplegia, and pressure patching. As in chemical burns, limbal involvement is an important prognostic factor in determining the long-term outcome. The treatment for severe burns from molten metal and fireworks may involve other ocular structures, which require medical or surgical repair, including limbal stem cell transplantation. Experimental adjunctive therapies may be beneficial. Such therapies include delivering oxygen to the burned ocular surface using a face mask for one hour a day, which Sharifipur et al. found to reduce limbal ischemia, accelerate epithelialization, and decreasing corneal vascularization. For those patients with the loss of eyelid tissue, a study demonstrated that the use of a gas-permeable scleral contact lens may be helpful to decrease corneal exposure, however, repair of the lids is critical for the long-term health of the ocular surface.